The things that they're suggesting they could do, they could already do. They don't need this damaging health bill to do this. It's a huge scale reform on, 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 I'm not seen in my lifetime. These reforms will cost a lot of money, which should be spent on patient care. Campaigners against the private sector lobbied doctors arriving for today's BMA meeting. An emergency meeting of the doctors' union, the BMA, has called on ministers to abandon plans to reform the health service in England. Which is why David Cameron marched in today with his diagnosis that if the NHS doesn't change, it will become increasingly unaffordable. My real fear is about providers being driven by the need to make money. The patients have the heart of the process now. The patient and the doctor, the connection between them is much closer than it was. On a visit to another London health centre, he met family doctors who were falling into line with his plans to give them control of the NHS's purse strings. Three out of four doctors don't believe they'll improve services to patients, and so I see these as the wrong reforms for the wrong reasons and at the wrong time. How are we going to uh, reconfigure services, and in some places, close services? It's about choosing the, the, the most suitable provider for the service that uh, we want to deliver. Price will unfortunately uh, determine a lot of the decisions that we make. This is NHS treatment. It's free and that's the way we want to keep it.